Tadam! Do you remember the Roasters Bundle? So, um, we'd like to thank you for all your support um, when you bought that Roasters Bundle. So, Sir Ernest and Sir John Eric is on their way to Lisbon now. And, of course, we wish them good luck. Represent the Philippines! Yay! Yeah, so in that Roasters Bundle, there is this one specific coffee that I found very, very, very good. This is the Sitio Sido na Juan Mindoro um, Liberica Heirloom Naturals. Yeah, I've actually delayed um, trying this coffee because I know that it's going to be good. And then at the grand finals of the Philippine Coffee Brewer League in Tanay, I met Sir Paul, the roaster of Sinag Coffee Roastery. And we chatted a little bit. And so I got excited to try it. Since we have a very small amount of this coffee, which is, I must say, it's really good. Um, we only have 50 grams of this. Um, we're gonna use the Origami Mini. It's the same geometry as an origami, but smaller. This is not from origami. I made it. So I printed it myself. Sorry, origami. I made my own dripper. But this dripper, since it's a very small origami... Oh, let me show you the full size. So here is the size comparison of the two. It's the same exact geometry, but it's really small. So it will enable me to um, brew small doses. So for in this case, we only have 50 grams of this and I, I, and I already um, consumed maybe 20 grams of it. So we have three more. So we're gonna brew um, 10 more grams of the Liberica Heirloom Naturals from Sinag Coffee Roastery with the Origami Mini and then the very small carafe as well to get in with the theme of course and then um, for the grind size I'm thinking maybe 17 or 18 this is 18 clicks okay um, earlier today I actually brewed this using the same origami mini but with a conical filter this time I want to use a wave filter so that um, so that we see what is the difference ready um, we're using an 86 degree water Yeah, we are actually on the quest of finding the best Liberica. Um, of course, this is um, part of the advocacy of supporting local coffees. Yeah, and the drawdown is really fast. And I can actually go as near as possible to my bed. That's why I made this um, really small origami. So I can actually pour very, very slow and very, very close to the bed. I actually did a longer ratio this time so that we get to see if there will be a separation of um, flavors. Earlier when I tried it, it was very sweet with um, dominating notes of vanilla. Yeah, so I'm looking to um, I'm looking for the brightness of it this time, even though I used the flat bottom filter. Mm, look at the color; oh. it's very light. But with Liberica coffees, they are normally um, they normally have this like creamy texture, like heavy creamy texture. Even though the color is that light. Okay, let's try. Oh wow! I'm getting like notes of ripe banana this time mm. Mm, wow yes 
Um, earlier, the, the dominating flavor was vanilla. And it's just very, very sweet. This time, I'm getting like ripe. Ooh! Yes, like ripe banana. It's like... It's like... Um, is it? Now it tastes like Turon. Yeah, because... <laughs> The aftertaste is caramel. You get this very, very sweet ripe banana. And then you get the aftertaste of caramel. If you combine that, what do you get? It's Toron. I'm really enjoying this Liberica. <laughs> I've, I've brewed this three times already today. Oh, yes. Wow. The flavor is really complex. I think this is one for me now. I, I, I can actually say that this is one of those um, special Libericas because some Libericas are just like meh. So this is, it's really hard to find good Libericas nowadays, especially most of the Liberica trees are um, like maybe forgotten or they lack nutrition. They're, they're very, very old. It's really hard to find good quality Liberica nowadays. So I guess this is our number two right now. Number one is still um, Fagutao Liberica. And then number two is this Sitio Sido Nawan Oriental Mendoro. Wow. This is from Sir J.R. Mendoza. He is the farmer of this Liberica. Um, if you're not aware, we have very good quality Libericas back in the day. So a lot, of, a lot of organizations are trying their best to uh, bring back the Liberica trees here in the Philippines. So I hope you can join our advocacy in um, supporting local coffees. I, I can really recommend this one for you to try. Um, get in touch with them, message their Facebook, Sinag Coffee Roastery. And yes, get your hands on the Liberica because if they run out soon, they it will be another year before harvest season so the next harvest season for liberica is um january so you'll be waiting a long time before you can actually try it it's really good it's really different right for now thank you so much for watching in the next videos i'm gonna show you more about coffee bye Sometimes meron siyang dating ng sagot gulaman.